What's up, gang? Carlton Flowers here, your crypto pro, with a critical update on Ethereum. As we can see on the four hour chart, that Ethereum has gone on this amazing pump right here, just taking a straight parabolic run all the way to a peak price of nearly $980 where we have a four hour candle that is just below a very critical fifth circle ring that I've been going by on this set for the last several months. And this fifth circle set is based on the time frame of July the 13th to November the 23rd of 2020. And this is the same set. If you look back at my previous videos, I have not touched this set because it has been so exact. In fact, in the words of MM Crypto with Chris, we have pumped to the exact, to the exact point right here on the chart. I cannot believe it. It is so exciting that we have touched down exactly on my fifth circle ring. You know how he does. Well, I have gone MM Crypto here and it looks like my prediction has just come down right to the point where it looks like the stochastic is about to cross over. Here we are right here looking at the stochastic where the percent K is curling downward and looking like it is about to cross over the percent D, the slow line, where it could do something like this, where I would expect for the price to start to come down and the slow line should do something like this and curl around where we'll see a divergence and possibly a correction. Finally, we might see a correction. Now, we could pump above that line, but based on what I'm looking at with the chart right now, I would imagine that after such a pump, a parabolic move like this, it could be a blow off top. Now, what could happen from here? Well, let's just look and see. So below the big blue 3.618, we have the 2.618 line so there is a possibility that we could correct down and come down and meet this price point right here directly on this fifth circle ring but i think there's a possibility that we could move on down to this big red ring and it would be the 4.618 of the big red fifth circle set that is based on the time range of June the 24th, 2019 to March the 9th of 2020. Now, I've been going by that FIP circle set since I created this, ending that set on the March 9th price at the top of that swing channel when it started to move into the bearish swing um, channel. And so since then, we've seen a lot of action right along these FIB circle rings. So if we're lucky and we see a rejection here at the 3.618 and we sail down to the big red 4.618, that would land us somewhere. I'm sorry, that was the wrong ring. This is the 4.618 right here. So if we land at this point, we could be around possibly the $600 price. Let's see here. We've got a volume node that kind of pops up on the chart here. Around 600 is the bottom where you see I've got a strike zone set right here. There's my green strike zone set and the bottom of that strike zone is sitting right at $600. But if we do fall below that fifth circle ring, on the 4.618, that would sit us at about a price of $650. So anywhere from six to 650, I'll be looking to jump in and see if I can cash in all of the penny jars, uh, my piggy bank, and buy at least one ETH. I really regret the fact that I did not buy in the 400 range because I thought we were gonna get a correction back down to 300 like everyone else thought, but Bitcoin pulled the price up as it continued on its bullish romp for the last two months and would not take a break. It seems like a, a never ending parabolic move, but Bitcoin seems to be losing a little bit of esteem and it is rounding off after peaking out just below 35,000 and we're sitting at a price of Bitcoin at $33,075. I expect Ethereum to follow suit and kind of follow Bitcoin and hopefully bring us down in here to the strike zone where I will jump on board. Now, looking at the on-balance volume, volume indicator, 
we see a general steady increase peaking out here. So we are sitting at the top of the range for the OBV, which tells me that we could have profit taking. I hope we do. But if, if Bitcoin continues on and blows off 35,000, we could move up to higher levels with Ethereum and maybe eclipse 1,000, but I don't look for that to happen. But if it does, that would put us above the 3.618 and move us up here into the range of the 4.236, about right there. That would send us straight above blowing through the $1,000 level at which I would really, really expect to see a correction. So we'll just have to wait and watch. But for right now, all we have to go by is the possibility that this stochastic cycle plays out and that this percent K line will go ahead and cross over the slow line and start into the bearish correction direction. And hopefully Ethereum will reload and gain its strength before it moves up to that next target level that everybody's talking about at $1,000. Now, of course, everyone seems to think that we could be in for a 10X from that point. And that's estimating low because I think 10,000 is definitely doable by September when the bull run hits its peak with the cryptocurrency market cycle that we all seem to have a consensus of agreement that the peak will be sometime in the month of September for Bitcoin, where Ethereum and the alts could lag behind and continue to pump a little bit past the point that Bitcoin hits its blow off top. So that's about all I have for right now. And I'd sure like to hear your thoughts on where you think Ethereum is going to take a break and start a correction if it does. Post it in the comments below, like and subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your family, let's push this group to 1,000. We can do it, guys. Let's get it up there and check out the links below. If you have not cashed in on the bonuses provided by Coinbase, jump on and grab those bonuses and both of us can gain a little bit of extra money and it can help me to support the cost of providing these updates and keeping this channel up to date. So that's all I have for now. This is Carlton Flowers, your crypto pro. See you next time. Thank you.